Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you are all well. Without further ado, I will start today's video. Tuesday, March 7, 2023 Today on General Hospital, Marshall and Portia talk, Molly and TJ make a big decision, and Michael gives Dex hope. Drew stops by as Carly is busy in the kitchen. They share a kiss, and she says she was about to text him as they have the house to themselves. Carly says with Aubrecht a match, they have to celebrate, so she's making Willow's favorite brownies. Drew wants to celebrate something else, the two of them is a couple out in the open. Drew feels enough time has passed since the failed merger, and the longer they keep this a secret, the more people will suspect why they kept it a secret. He also feels Ned won't turn them in now that Valentine is dead and the family has a shot at taking control of ELQ again. Drew gets back to the topic of them pushes the dishes off the countertop, and lifts Carly up on it to make out. They eventually make their way to the bedroom. At General Hospital, Marshall stops by Portia's office. He says he's on his way to his appointment for his genetic counseling results, but wanted to talk to her about Curtis. He is worried about this rift between them. She knows she should have told Curtis earlier, but he says she doesn't have to justify her actions to him. She thought he of all people might understand why she did what she did. He understands the instinct to protect your family, but sometimes instincts aren't always to be trusted. Portia admits she has been avoiding him because she didn't want to have this conversation. She was afraid he would hate her. He says he could never hate her, and he wants to thank her for pushing him to have his diagnosis checked out. Portia asks if Curtis is going with him but he didn't want to bother him. Portia knows Curtis would want to be there for him. She must check on some patients, and suggests she use her office to make a phone call. In the halls, Alexis runs into Curtis coming from a meeting. Alexis apologizes for her wedding gift being late, but he tells her to just return it, as that's how things are looking for him and Portia. Curtis doesn't want to hold her up from her meeting. She tells him there are plenty of meetings, and to come with her. Nina gets off the elevator and runs into Willow and Michael. She explains she was just looking for her aunt. She turns to leave them, but Willow stops her. Willow asks Michael for a moment, alone with Nina. Michael gets a text from Dex to meet him on the roof, so he heads out. Willow relays they just meet with Terry and Aubrecht, and they are running more tests to make sure Aubrecht is going to be able to go through with the procedure. Nina asks how she is, and how the kids are. Willow says she's willing to talk about her condition, but not the kids. Nina understands. Willow explains there is a concern about her aunt's age, and her medical history must be taken into account. Nina notes she's been talking about her aunt a lot, but she wants to know how she is. Willow says she is tired and can't concentrate much. She also knows this is shallow, but her nails are brittle and she always likes them to look nice. Nina says they recently did a piece about nail art for Crimson, and someone from Deception gave her a nail strengthening serum. She has a sample and gives it to Willow, who thanks her. Nina thanks her for talking to her. Willow admits she didn't want to talk to her, but her aunt asked her to. Nina asks, my aunt didn't, Willow says she didn't threaten to withhold the donation. She just made her realize how much her health matters to Nina. Nina thanks her dot on the roof. Dex removes the SIM card from his phone and smashes his phone. Dex warns Michael that Sonny might be onto him. Michael says Sonny would have killed him if that was the case. Dex explains how he throws him out of a recent Pikeman meeting. Michael asks what else happened, so Dex tells him about dinner and Sonny talking to him about his past. Michael thinks that is good news then, Sonny still trusts him. Michael tells him not to push on Pikeman, and to keep doing what he's doing. Michael returns to Nina and Willow. Nina says she should be getting back to the hotel, and thanks Willow for the talk. Alone, Michael asks how things went. Willow says, surprisingly well, and Nina seemed to hear her. However, She's not forgetting who Nina is and what she's done. At the Metro Court, Austin interrupts Ava and Sonny's discussion. Sonny chastises him, but Ava tells Sonny she really needs to see Austin, and for him not to worry about Nicholas. 
Ava and Austin run off, and Olivia asks Sunny what that was about. Sunny says Ava wouldn't tell him, but she will. Olivia suggests Sunny's got enough going on in his life to be worrying about Ava. Sunny does have a favor to ask and says Nina is going crazy over what's going on with Willow. He asks since she's around Willow a lot if she could keep him posted. Olivia suggests if he wants information to work things out with Michael. Sunny asks for a second favor and for her to just go easy on Nina. Olivia agrees to try but says her first loyalty will always be to Carly, who is pretty happy these days. Sunny says he's noticed, and it's just too bad Carly and Drew are having to be so discreet. Olivia asks how he knows about that dot in the corner. Austin tells Ava it appeared she was about to tell Sunny about Nicholas. Ava feels Sunny can help her, that Nicholas is her responsibility, and he shouldn't say anything to make people suspect him. Austin warns her someone like Sunny could get them killed, but she disagrees as Sunny had no love for Nicholas. Mason, who had been spying on them, comes out of the shadows and tells Austin if his lady friend is thinking of going to Sunny, they must be in trouble. Ava knows when Mason shows up, he always seems to want something. Mason tells Ava he was just telling Austin that Windmere has some nice stables, though not so nice when an animal is left behind to rot. Mason demands Ava hand over her phone so he can put his number in it so they can keep in touch. She does as asked, and Mason hands her phone back and wishes them a good evening. Ava gives Austin a look. Molly meets with TJ at Charlie's. She says she took the test and it was negative. She asks how he feels. TJ says they haven't really planned for this. Molly asks, so we are relieved. Before they are able to talk further, Alexis and Curtis arrive. Alexis wishes them a happy anniversary, and Molly and TJ ask them to join them. Alexis doesn't want to intrude, and Curtis asks TJ to join him at the bar while he puts in an order. Alexis joins Molly, who admits she and TJ thought she might be pregnant, but she's not. Molly says it wasn't planned, and it's not like they were prepared for this. Alexis says babies can be exhausting and hard work, but they also are the best thing that could happen in one's life. She thinks they'd make great parents and asks if she and TJ are on the same page. Molly says they were just about to discuss it. Alexis thinks that's her cue to leave. She knows Molly is a planner but advises sometimes you can't plan things. Dot at the bar, TJ knows something went down at the reception and asks if he can do anything for his uncle. Curtis appreciates it but wants to focus on anything else. TJ admits they thought Molly might be pregnant, which she isn't, but he never felt that excitement before. However, he doesn't know where Molly stands and knows she has a five-year plan for them both before children come into the picture. TJ and Curtis are interrupted by a call from Marshall, who asks him to come with him to his appointment. TJ and Molly sit down together, and they both admit they want a baby. Elsewhere. Alexis calls Gregory and says she doesn't like how they left things, and she wants to talk. Back at the hospital, Marshall thanks Portia for allowing him to use her office. She thanks him for their talk, and asks if he thinks there is any hope for her and Curtis. Suddenly, Curtis steps off the elevator. Nina returns to the Metro Court, just as Sonny tells Olivia he knows if people knew how long Carly and Drew have been a couple they might have to face some consequences. Olivia blurts out, because my husband threatened to sick the SEC on them. She walks off, and Nina seems stunned. On the next general hospital, Curtis is in for a shock. Anna and Valentine discover new information. Spencer leans on Trina. Esme makes Laura an offer. If you have information on the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon to get more information videos and share your friends have a good day.